I'm gonna go ahead and grab a hold of these weights and get to get to curling. What's the best diet for cutting fat? One that comfortably allows you to stay in a deficit of calories while hitting your protein goals, I'd say. You need to watch that exclamation mark fat loss video. But deficit of calories is what causes you to lose fat, so whatever allows you to stay in that and you know, you know, get relatively good nutrition would probably be the way to do it. <laughs> but this idea that there's one particular diet that's best isn't necessarily the, the right way to think about it, I would say. But that video is a real quick one that just gives you the basics for that. Well, what is caloric deficit? Check that out. Is alcohol inherently bad for gains? Uh, pretty much, yeah. Alcohol itself is, uh, suppresses muscle protein synthesis, so interfere with that, so yeah. Alcohol is just not good, but you can incorporate it in your life if you want to, and it's not going to ruin your games, but it's just, yeah, it is just not good. I would say, not going to kill you, but it's not going to help you at all either. It does have a negative impact, but... Yeah, we've been feeling it, man. We did do some arms yesterday, so we'll see what we want to do today. We'll see, we'll see. Thank you, Fuse. Welcome back for the 17 months, man. Big flex for you. Glad to have you, dude. Thank you, man. And last shot, thank you for the four months as well. But before we really got rolling for the day, I saw that uh, that uh, starting soon screen. So thank you, man. Appreciate it. Woo, man. Woo. Oh. Gotta wake up. Gotta get going for the day. See what the heck we're gonna do for the day. See, what's on the menu games wise? Like I said, we did arms yesterday, so it's kind of like, it was a short workout, but not sure what to do today. I think the week had to recover a bit. A lot of muscle groups feel kind of sore. But like I said, we've been training pretty hard. We've been, we've been getting after it pretty good, so all good. Did get vaccinated, Fetty, yeah. Did indeed. Which push-ups are best for hitting triceps and biceps? I don't tend to think of push-ups as a real big bicep heavy movement. My other way to work in biceps and push-ups. Maybe your arms, maybe your push-ups, your biceps will get some kind of activation just because of the support, but. A, cl a close grip. Bench or uh, push up, probably gonna get your triceps a little more. A closer grip with your elbows, um, closer to your side, probably do some more tricep. Maybe if you went super wide, you can get some bicep activation, but I don't. Probably just do something else for biceps. Realistically. You gotta sort of understand what those muscles are designed to do, right? Your tricep extends your elbow, or your arm at the elbow, right? And your bicep contracts your arm, it brings your arm in, right? Uh, uh, 
Gain 10 pounds six weeks, there's no way it's all muscle. Right. Probably gain some muscle though. Just gotta keep trying to biceps, Slim. I don't do a lot of kettlebell training now. What's up, Putrid? Glad to have you, man. I am, I'm super humble. I'm the most humble on the platform, actually. There's nobody more humble than me. I'm the humblest. For sure. <laughs> so if you feel like you're gaining weight faster than you want to, um, I just reduced your calories a little bit so that you're not in as big of a surplus. That's quite a name, by the way. Putrid Coffee. <laughs> What's up? What's up? Glad to have you. But for you, train your biceps. Keep hitting them bad boys. Keep hitting them bad boys. Are you missing a lot if you don't train with cables? Not really. You're a skinny boy, but I want to beat your body. Okay, well. Building some muscles is probably the right idea. But if you're getting 10 pounds, oh, if you're getting over one pound a week, you're probably, you know, in a bigger surplus than you might need to be. But if you're comfortable with gaining some fat along the way, then that's probably fine too. But I doubt that 10 pounds in six weeks is all muscle. You're, you're right about that. Your intuition is correct, <laughs> I would say. But if you're super new, you can probably build muscle pretty quickly, but that's a little fast, right? Hammer curls have more with uh, width and more than height. You could try. You could definitely try. A variety of different curls, a variety of different bicep movements. What's that back row pull thing you just did called? The cable back row pull thing. <laughs> Not, it might have a name, but. It's a cable, some kind of standing cable row or something. Cause you can you can do that for a variety of different kind of movements, right? I can I can pull different ways to have it activate my back in different ways too. But yeah, standing cable row sounds about right. Get back row cable thing to work out to give it a try. Yeah. And you got clones, thanks for the prime, man. Because you can do like real low, you can do a mid, you can do a high. You can do have, have different amounts of like bicep involvement, like so your arm bends more or less to get different feelings. So it's not necessarily just one thing, but yeah, you can definitely play around with the cable for your back and see how things feel. That was a cool movement. Myself just like to be a little more warm when working out. I guess, right? Yeah, just get just getting started. Get the day going. Put in some work on the YouTube side of things, and now we're getting in the gym. See what's up. We have a Diablo 2 highlight video that should be up on the main channel today. And then we've got this little video that's up on the bonus channel. If you guys haven't checked that out, I'm gonna link it for you. Go show it some love. Hit that bad boy with a thumbs up. Leave a nice little comment. Interacting with the videos makes a real big difference. You might not realize it, but it really does. So if you feel like showing the content some love, that'd be great. 
Really appreciate that. Trying to keep things rolling and progressing. It's tough. We're at an interesting stage right now. An interesting time in our, in our journey at the moment. Support means more than ever. Some experimentations. How much cardio? Not right now. I don't mind doing cardio, it's just not. I only have so much time, and that's just not the way I'm using my time right now. It's all good, though. Mr. Questioner Jovion, you should be resistance training like an animal and eating in a deficit. You can build muscle and lose fat at the same time if you have a lot of weight to lose and you're not very trained, so absolutely try to build muscle. It, it, those two things will synergize. Well, the, like I said, building muscle will help you lose fat. Being this, it doesn't necessarily help you build muscle, but it's not like you have to wait to do one or the other, right? So train like an animal to focus on building muscle and getting stronger. Just nail your diet. Stay in deficit, right? What's up, Fire Robot? Thanks for 25 months, man. Appreciate it, dude. Thank you. Uh, the DT Remake will absolutely be multiplayer. It, it, it's going to be the same thing. It's just better graphics, basically, is a good way to think about it. Same thing, so better graphics. the gym for every year of your cardio this week? Well, you know, if, if you recognize that cardio is one of those areas that hasn't been getting enough attention and it's a goal of yours, then start adding some in. Yeah, we'll be here for a bit, Fuchs. Sounds good, man. Sounds good. Apparently a hype train is closed. That's funny. I've seen them adding that in recently. Well, if you guys want to get a hype train going, <laughs> I guess you could. One more person needs to sub, give, or use bits. There you go. 
Rekha Morgan a hoodie. Ultra super common question. Just because I like to be warmer. It's just a, it's just a temperature preference when it's kind of chilly in the morning. Once I get warmed up, I can take the hoodie off. It's really not very complicated. <laughs> I think some people want to have like some sort of like, you know, muscle building or fat loss explanation and it's just... Why do people use it where it is? Probably temperature control, right? I guess so, right? Kind of funny. Sup, sup. Oh, it's a good meat. Sup, sup. That's one of them, so there's some... One of them is a Sony emo, huh? That's my boy right there. Sony gym string has been pumped. Been hyped. Oh. Is made for that kind of thing, I think. Oh. Just doing some arms and shoulders today. Wanna to get warmed up a little bit, recover, and get ready for another week of training. I guess tomorrow is one week until the competition, so maybe we hit some nice squat bench deadlift. Then take it a couple, uh, take a couple days easy and go from there, I guess, right? Yes, sir. Let's see, uh, it's pretty lightweight, yeah. There's <laughs> not a lot of effort quite yet. Just warming up. Thank you, Fetty, for the power up, man. It's getting some Super Saiyan energy flowing. Thank you, man. Powering us up. But yeah, these are these are pretty lightweight. Just trying to try to wake up and warm up a little bit. Get things feeling good. But yeah, I guess that'll be the plan. Do one more round of squat bench dead, and then take a couple days to recover. Yeah, great team's good stuff. I do take it and recommend it. Yep. Here's a video about all my supplements too, if you're curious about that kind of thing. There you go. Good, Fiddy. I'm glad to hear it, man. One of the Teslas? I have no idea. <laughs> no idea. The only time I've ever gotten tested, well, I got it one time, was at the very end of my competition season. I had been dieting for like eight months. And it was cool. I, I finished my season as a pro in natural bodybuilding, which is awesome. But uh, I was really tired. So I went and got my blood work done and just threw testosterone in there too, and it was like 420, which is not very high. But I, I imagine it might have been a little bit lower because I was dieting and staying lean for so long, but I have no idea now. Hopefully it's come up a little bit since then, but who knows? <laughs> I think it's probably more important that your body is in the right balance of hormones for you and your unique situation than having high or low necessarily, right? That's that's my guess. What's the order this week? Well, you're in luck. I just linked you that subs video, so you have the information ahead of you. But basically, it's just carbohydrates and BCAs. Yeah. Right, I mean, like, you know, some people who do TRT really might need it, but some people just want to hop on the juice. <laughs> but yeah, I have, I have no idea what, what my testosterone levels are right now. I don't really spend a lot of time worrying about that. But yeah, there's, you know, the healthy range is a pretty wide range. And once again, it's my understanding that you just basically just need your hormones to be in the right balance, not necessarily have a particular number, right? The, so the 355 squat on Twitter, yeah, that was easy peasy. It's just, the, it's not very much weight. It's just the fact that squats have been feeling so bad. Then we finally got him feeling good that day, which is good. So hopefully we can add some weight to that, and get some weight moving for the meat. Nothing too crazy, but just a little something would be good. Yes, my form is okay. It's just things are just weird on the squat. But instead of trying to do low bar, I think I'm just gonna do high bar and just call it good. Be all right. Let's do some high bar. And Maybe try to get to around 400 something. But the thing is, like, I don't, I don't even know if like 1500 would be that much different than like, your, like you know, half that anyway for muscle building purposes, right? Because a normal range is a normal range, right? Like, it probably, it probably makes a, like a difference. But for someone who has healthy testosterone levels. To go from like 700 to 1500, I don't know if that's going to make a huge difference in muscle building. Because you kind of, in order to get the super physiological gains, you probably need super physiological levels of testosterone, right? So you may as well just, like, if you don't need TRT, you may as well not take it. Just, just 
Let well, your body do what it does. And eat. If you want to grow, you gotta eat. <laughs> it's, not your it's not your testosterone, it's the goddamn food. You gotta eat. <laughs> That's what I, we're talking about that a lot. Now I'm not a I'm not a hormone specialist by any means, I'm not a doctor, but like I said, I don't really spend a whole lot of time worrying about it. We'll talk about it on stream, but other than that, I ain't worried about it. I feel I feel like I'm doing just fine. Only 31 anyway. But if you take care of your exercise and your nutrition and your sleep, you're probably gonna be fine. But yeah, that's, that's the story for me. The one time I got a check, it was around there. But like I said, I was a little bit surprised at that point. So it's probably fine. Probably fine. Yeah, no, I'm 31 now, so. Well, I got a check, I was 28. But like I said, I mean, I feel like I'm doing okay. Like I said, I, I think if you're if you're really fixated on your testosterone, I feel like you're focused on the wrong things. I feel like you should be focused on your training, your food, and your sleep more than anything else. Uh, and if you're trying to gain build muscle and you're not eating all day, and that's <laughs> That's probably reason number one you're not, you're not growing. That's where, that's where my testosterone was, around 420. I think it was a little suppressed, but once again, I think it's way more about the balance of hormones for your body than a number meaning much. And even then, like, like I said, being in the upper end of, like adding, adding testosterone, if you did, but still in a normal range, is probably not gonna make that much of a difference. So like, adding calories will make a difference, right? Progressively overloading with sufficient volume will make a difference. Getting good sleep consistently, being on good sleep habits so you get quality sleep, those things make a difference. You know? So, I don't think you really need to worry about it too much. Oh. There are things under your control that make way more of a difference. So, yeah. That's that simply known as big lifts. That's awesome. Way to work. With big lifts. What's up, dude? Oh. Oh. Yep. Not getting good sleep can be tough, but we don't know that's for sure. I'm sure you've worked on your sleep habits and stuff. My best squat is a 435, but realistically, I think if I focus on strength for a little while, I think I could probably break that. We'll see. We'll see. Hello, hello. 435 squat is not much. 
But that's just the best I've done in the gym. Never done any meets or anything. But we do have a little Twitch Rivals meet coming up, which is pretty fun. You know, sorry, today? Not really. <laughs> Not really, but it's kind of doesn't really, you know, doesn't really matter. Do it to an arm and shoulders recovered anyway. For average people, sure, that might be an okay lift, yeah. But for strong people, it ain't much. And I squatted that at like 225. My little baby sister squatted that probably at like 165. <laughs> Does that make any difference? Makes a difference? Probably not really, no. You're just gonna get in front of gain muscle? How many calories are you eating per day? And how's that working for you? And if you don't know how many calories you're eating per day, that's step one, exclamation mark bulk. Type that in the chat and start learning how to track your calories so you can maintain the amount of food it takes to give your body more energy than it needs so it can build some muscle. You don't know, try to eat a lot? Yup, exclamation mark bulk. Watch that video. We're gonna quit messing around with this. I think I eat a lot, but don't gain weight shit, right? We're gonna get right to the core. <laughs> Start tracking your intake and make sure you eat enough to build. No more messing around. I got you. No more messing around. That ends today. <laughs> I got you. Enough of that. You try? No, not you try. You watch that fucking video is what you do. <laughs> You hear me? You watch that four and a half minute video and you learn how to put food on a food scale and track it on my fitness pal. So you know how many calories you're eating per day and you see whether or not that amount of calories you're eating is allowing you to gain weight or not. <clears throat> That's what you do. And if the amount of calories you're eating helps you gain weight, you keep doing it until it does it and then you add more food. <clears throat> but what we're not gonna do is just Same. I eat a lot and can't gain weight. I think, it's, I think I'm an ectomorph. I think my metabolism is just too fast. And that's not what we're doing, because that's bullshit. Tracking your calories and adjusting over time, and making sure they're moving towards their goals is how that works. You got this. <clears throat> yep. Yo, Duke, I got him. He just needs to watch the video. I got him. I got him. <clears throat> you can know what your basic metabolism is by tracking your intake and seeing what happens. <laughs> Just start where you're at. They're, they're, they're Bose Sport. That's what they're called. I'm having Are you listening to me, son? I'm going to give you one last chance, and then I'm going to have to move on. You listening to me, son? <clears throat> I don't have really use it for the same way ears, but they, they have super sensitive touch controls, and that, uh, that's kind of annoying. <clears throat> you listening to me, son? Quit typing in my chat, click that video, and watch it. Learn how to track your intake of calories, and then we can continue the discussion. But until we establish the basic understanding for you, it's gonna be a real confusing and potentially potentially frustrating journey for you. you worked up? Not really. It's pretty standard. Pretty standard. I'm just trying to be direct because this is actually like life-changing stuff, even though it's super basic. Super basic. Someone trying to lose weight, feel like they can't quite do it, track your intake. Want to gain weight, you haven't been able to do it, start tracking your intake. It's just the basics, but it's so essential. It's so fundamental and foundational to the gains. It's just how it works. Go watch that video, son. And we'll continue the discussion. Oh. Oh, <sighs> 
Should I try to it? It is. You go watch it too, Fetty. <laughs> you go watch it too, as a matter of fact. You've earned yourself a viewing as well. <laughs> yeah, there you go, Benny. Hit him with it. Yup. Yup. Let me see what I'm trainer? No. I like my job. Don't need to be a trainer. <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> that is not what I said. That's why the dog going. Not like my job as a content creator. I'm not trying to sell you anything, so I don't really need to be a trainer. Just a fellow gym bro and a pro natural bodybuilder, just, you know, trying to talk about something I'm passionate about and help you guys learn and improve too. You know, you can do it, I do too. That's why I'm equipping you with the knowledge, because I don't think it's that you can't do it. I think it's just you just might not have the right understanding of how it works is all. That's all I'm doing. But I'm being very in insistent about you doing it, like checking out the source of information. The meet's in like eight days. It's like a week, so we'll <laughs> see how it goes. The split I'm doing right now is pretty fun. <laughs> Mostly like legs, chest, back, arms and shoulders and feet. That's a fun one, I like that one. It gives me some flexibility and the, the, the kind of recovery that I like. Uh, some quality gains. I don't just put all the strain on my chest like I do for bodybuilding purposes. I gotta like move the weight of my whole body like we've been talking about, right? A little arms and shoulder day today, team. See what we can do. Oh no. You got hurt? That sucks, man. I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, I got a feeling that second shot's really gonna kick my butt. But it's good to do it, so. Be safe, Doc Salty, but I'm excited for you. And gym's are open again. That's great. Scott, be safe. They've been talking about that UK variant being a little bit more aggressive, huh? Especially with the little ones, so I've heard, so be careful for sure. I feel like even when I'm vaccinated, I don't, I don't think I'll be going to the gym.
We'll see. What's up, Mage Man? Yeah, I do periodically clean my desk. I think we're about due for one, honestly. I don't know what my body fat percentage is now. Not real low. I don't know what it is, though. Probably 8, maybe 17, 18%. Might be, might be somewhere around there. my friend. It's not about your meal time, it's about how much you eat. Intermittent fasting is fairly relevant, but it's mostly used for fat loss, for controlling your appetite. It doesn't actually cause any sort of special magical effect. Where do I move? I am. We're sponsored by Move, yeah. A wonderful sponsor of ours. Really helpful for me. Keeping track of my effort and recovery. Very cool. Very glad to have it. What do you decide for small weight size plus calories? I mean, it's about it. <laughs> it's about you can practice, you know, abdominal control. Or do you want to put a couple days ago? Nice. Yeah, we have a promo code for 15% off, but if you already got one, then you're good, I guess. But you can join our team, our games and games team, if you want to. I'd be love to have you aboard, man. <sighs> oh, I'm going to be standing today. Oh, for shredded coals, I mean calves, any, any shredded muscle is a combination of building muscle and losing fat. It's just how it works. So I'm, not, I'm not sure if you might shred it, but yeah. Muscular definition is about building muscle and losing fat. trying to gain muscle, I don't recommend fasting. <laughs> Not really. Get to work. <clears throat> and eat. That's one thing I'm trying to work on. Is actually, I don't usually like to eat before training, but I'm trying to get calories in before training. I think it'll help me a lot. It's just taking a while to get used to it and find foods that I like. So right now it's just like whey protein and carbohydrates during my workout. 
But that gets things going. That's good. You have a burger today? You don't care what you're saying? I mean, eating calories is what you need to be doing. You're, you're, you're continually missing the point. You're, you're a young person, aren't you? You're a, you're a bit of a young fella, sounds like to me. Because you ain't listening. Uh, but whatever, good luck. <laughs> uh, good luck. I'll be here if you ever, you know, actually want to know how to improve. You're 20, yep. It's a great time to be making games, you're missing out. But you're going to keep dicking around and not doing what you're supposed to do, build muscle, and then be like, ah, I just have a high metabolism. I can't gain weight, I'm an ectomorph. I'm doomed. That's on you, man. That's on you, but 20s are a great time to build muscle. <sighs> gotta train, you gotta eat. Saying, I'm gonna have a hamburger, you can't stop me. It's like completely missing the point. It's like, have the hamburger, have three. Get your calories in, you need them. <sighs> yep. If you're skinny and have really decent muscle, I just wanna get rid of it. That's it? I mean, if you're skinny and you're trying to diet, you're wasting your time, but whatever. Yes, that's how you lose fat, is deficit of calories, regardless. Yep. That's right. But if you're already skinny, and you're trying to diet down, you might be wasting your time, in my opinion. But yes, that's right. Your goals are your own, and you are understanding the basics. Yep. That's right. Oh. Dude, I'm trying. I'm not a god. You don't, you don't have to be a god. You have to put food on the food scale, put it in my head. It's not, not complicated. What you're not doing is you're not listening to me and taking information that is exceedingly basic. I'm not being like, okay, now I know what to do. But maybe you are just joking about it, but hopefully I'm helping. I'm gonna do this video one more time. <laughs> then you're on your own. <laughs> Oh boy. Oh boy. It's like lots of game stuff, don't we all? Don't we all? I definitely have a lot to game. No doubt about that. What is this focusing on here? This shiny thing right there? What are you focusing on, camera? What are you excited about over there? Oh. Let's find something that it likes, but it's not me. Is it, is it my weights? What are you doing over here? The camera likes to find something to focus on. That, that ain't me. Oh. Oh. Did it figure itself out? Gotcha. <laughs> That's what I'm hearing, Danny. Be, be careful, have fun, be safe. <sighs> Get that left shoulder working right. Ah. That's like you know what I'm It's got a not shape, dude. And hope for the best. No. What's up, so the beard I, I can take about as much credit for my beard as I can my eye color. It's it's not something that you know, it's just it is what it is. <laughs> you know. It's something that I can like about myself, but it's not necessarily, necessarily something that I'm like put a lot of effort into, right? Yeah, the beard looks good, thanks. But yeah. I didn't do
Yeah. It's like the U.S. kind of made that a priority and has been cranking them out pretty good, so I'm grateful for that. California got them going, so it's good. That's good. Oh, man. The rear delts a little bit. I think a great cassette. I, I don't really have like a, a real full picture of his content. I believe most of that is see him calling natural athletes enhanced, and that's not good. <laughs> I just see him doing these natty or nonce on people who are obviously natty, and he's like, there's no way they could be natural. It's like, what are you talking about, dude? What are you talking about? So I think I don't I think I don't have like a full picture of his like helpful content. But I find that to be very not good when he's talking about somebody who's clearly natural and telling his audience there's no way you can achieve that naturally. It's not good. It's dangerous. I know he's been on drugs his entire life, but it's like, brother, you still can make gains naturally. People can do that. So I think that's kind of bad, but I haven't really seen all of his content. That's what I've, come, what I've come into contact with is kind of like, that's not good, dude. I know it's easy content, really easy to get views, calling out popular people for imaginary drug use, but I don't think it's good to do that, so. It's weird, it's weird. Does obvious why you tell people not nice? Sure, but Tifu, it's not one of those people, for example, right? And I think it's bad when he tells his audience, which are probably a lot of young dudes, that you can't gain muscle naturally. It's not good. It's, all, it's not true, and it's also not good. So, that's irresponsible and dangerous. Oh. Oh, man. So, I'm not impressed with that part. Uh, but yeah, he's trying to turn it into like a, a bit of a caricature. Yeah, I gotcha. But yeah, it, I know, it's, it's easy to make that type of content. But I don't find it interesting, and I find it actually like bad when you call out people who are natural and say that there's no way they can make those kind of gains naturally. It really kind of adds to disillusionment of young people thinking they can't make gains with their own drugs, so it's not good. Well, I'm glad you got it, Warlock. Which one did you get? Uh, my arm is pretty sore. I think other than that, I'm okay, but yeah. Oh. Oh. Is that a one or a two? Oh. Yeah, you gotta be honest with that kind of stuff, Campbell. Oh, man. I mean, if you're gonna do TRT, just tell your peeps that you're doing it. I mean, simple as that, right? Okay. Doing all right. Dang. That was just the one big one, yeah. That might be tough. I mean, I can go from 180 to 210, but it went from a very dieted state to a bit of a chubbier state, but it won't be all muscle. Yeah. You can drop it in the, in the Swolfies tab, Syrian, if you want. Yep. Go for it. Big flex for it, I appreciate it. 
Um, if you put a Discord, that's, that's, where it's, that's where it goes. Yep. A lot of those guys we dropped from sponsors, they want to their drugs? I don't think so. Sponsors don't care. <laughs> like, what sponsors are gonna drop you? Unless it's like, they're all about natural bodybuilding or something. Like, who, who would do that? Which sponsors would drop somebody? They don't care. They want you, as long as you need your Instagram views, then they don't care. I don't understand the mindset of like being dishonest about it. It's just maybe just because you get more comments about some people be like, you get the natty or not discussion in your in your comments, which drives up engagement or whatever. Other than that, I don't get it. I mean, nobody's gonna get dropped from your sponsor. I don't buy that at all. Yeah, put it in the Swolfies tab of Discord there. Exclamation mark Discord will get you the, the link for Discord. But like, if for some reason my hormones stop working and I need to start supplementing with hormone therapy, I'll let you guys know. <laughs> but I don't think that's gonna be the case. Ah. 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 Uh, I've checked in on him occasionally, Messenger. I think he's usually streaming while I'm streaming though. So I can't really watch a ton, but um, yeah, I check it when I can. Always fun. Him and his lady are really cute. It's cool. <clears throat> but I mean, if you're keeping your levels in a natural place, it's not that makes that much of a difference, I don't think. Don't have to let us know? Yeah, but I will. I will. And while I'm natural, I'll tell you I'm natural too. That's it. <laughs> Which has been the entire time. Yeah. Another thing about that though is that like if you decide to do TRT, you can't compete as a natural anymore, so you're gonna go get shit on by guys who are juiced to the gills. <laughs> So, I may as well just stay natural and compete in natural shows, I'd say, for me, but... Oh, boy! Yeah, oh yeah, Zar Zargy's my boy, I've known him for a long time. He says he takes, takes a lot of inspiration from us, which I appreciate, even though he's doing his own thing and doing great. But yeah, I think he's taking a lot of inspiration from us, so, it's cool. I mean, you can do it if you want to, Messenger. Or Campbell. Or whoever asked me about that paradox. Sorry, all you guys. I'm eating around 4,300 calories a day right now, Campbell. Oh my goodness. Now you know about the Discord. There you go. I don't know. This out here is a stand desk, but uh, I, I used to just good old sitting desk in the office. Like it is for Dead Eagle, 
and you're feeling good, that's great. But like any other medicine, you probably don't want to take it unless you need it, right? So. Um, it could be fat loss, but I probably won't go to a doctor with that edge. There's some sort of hormone imbalance too, perhaps. But it's not an exercise that removes fat, it's a diet that, that removes fat. But I'm not sure if that's what you're talking about. But if you need to lose body fat, yeah. Good old body fat. Exclamation mark fat loss. I just use the uh, bodybuilding.com signature series pre-workout. That's good. Because all a doctor, yeah. Like that can happen to young men during puberty and stuff. Or people who are using performance enhancing drugs, it throws off their hormones and stuff too. It could just be, you know, if you're really high body fat, it can happen too. Just fat loss. There you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't really drink energy drinks as much as just a free, little bit of pre-workout. What if it's a natural and unnatural? Natural bodybuilding shows, drug tested shows, you can't use more enhancing drugs. Untested shows, the assumption is you use as much as you want. <laughs> so. That's why if you get on TRT, you're pretty much, I mean, but like, for me, my bodybuilding would probably be mostly done at that point, at least competitive bodybuilding. Because I can be competitive, fairly competitive naturally. On a therapeutic dose of, of testosterone, you're not natural, but you're also not, you know, juiced up. So. <laughs> Chest or legs today? When's the last time you did legs? I mean, if legs is a possibility, you should probably be training legs, right? But yeah, they don't, they don't, they just don't drug test in, you know, untested shows, right? Supplements, I assume, is the thing, right? They're supplements, as in supplementary, as in not necessary. So you don't need supplements. If you're trying to lose fat, you just need to be in a deficit of calories. <clears throat> supplements, by definition, are not necessary, right? People were saying that you weren't natural, Ash? At what point? I mean, you look great, but people just don't know what they're talking about. You look great, though, for sure. Look great. But yeah, I don't know why people would. Once again, people are just stupid. You look great, though. <laughs> if I'm shaking when you look weight, is it too heavy? You could lighten the weight. But my guess is you're probably just not used to training. It's my, if you're shaky. Am I gonna make a switch power thing? Probably not. I'm doing this little power thing meet though, so I'm trying to remember how to do barbell movements <laughs> with, for power. No. Is doing the same kind of work unhealthy every week? Uh, I don't think so. I mean, what you wanna do is over time, you wanna increase your workload though. So you wanna get better. But I mean, if you just do the same workout all the time, probably gonna stay about the same, but it's probably still good to get some exercise, right? <sighs> you shake when the weight is too light? Is it worth having a home gym? I mean, it's absolutely worth for me, but during a pandemic, I don't know if the gym is the best place to go, but outside of that, yeah, the gym is great. Does Twitch be coming up? Yeah, it's in the title. Yep.
Well, Scott, the thing about somebody accusing you of steroids is like, they probably just have no idea what they're talking about, but they're coming from a place of like, real negativity. So it's not necessarily like, it can be a compliment, but at the same time, it's like these people, they're just trying to direct their bad energy to you. And they have no idea what they're talking about either. So it's like, it's, it's just like neutral. It's like, okay, that's just, doesn't affect me at all, but I guess. But oftentimes it's just people trying to bring you down for being jealous, but they have no idea what they're talking about either, right? So it's like, you know, like if a little, it, it's like, it's similar to a little kid being like, wow, you're the strongest man on the, on the planet, because they're impressed. Except the people who are saying you're on drugs aren't saying, wow, you rock. They're saying, I suck, he doesn't, that makes me feel bad, I have to bring him down to make myself feel less bad about sucking, comparatively, right? And that's, that actually doesn't even have anything to do with you at all. So it's like you can't even, that's almost like it doesn't even affect you. But it can definitely be annoying when you can say, hey, you're trying to discredit my work here. Please don't do that. <laughs> but realistically, it doesn't even have anything to do with you. They're just trying to make themselves feel better about a negative comparison with themselves. But I'm usually talking about my experience of somebody randomly coming into the chat and being like, there's no way this guy's natural. It's like, just that's just like some random expression of their negativity that doesn't have anything to do with me. But yeah, like if your family and friends are saying that there's no way you can be natural, that hurts because those people are supposed to be on your side and support you. And, then, and instead of taking a look at this body of work that you're doing and being like, wow, way to kick ass. That is fantastic. They're like, okay, what shortcuts are you taking, fatty? You know, it's like, what the fuck? What's wrong with you? It comes from the same place, it just hurts more because they're supposed to be on your team. But yeah, fortunately my family's very supportive. But they also know me and they know I'd never mess around with that kind of stuff. That's another thing, is when people make those kind of accusations, it's like, they absolutely have no idea who I am. Like, I have a family, man. I'm not trying to like put my health at risk. I'm trying to stick around and be healthy and set an example. I'm not some kind of narcissistic sociopath that's just like gonna take a bunch of drugs and lie about it to my audience while like damaging my own self so I can't be around and healthy for my family. Like, that is not who I am. <laughs> but when these people come up with this, it's like, is that how you think of me? But it's just so, it's so disconnected from who I actually am, it actually doesn't have anything to do with me is what I'm saying, right? Doesn't make any sense. Doesn't make any sense at all. So that's why, that's why I'm saying, it's like, when you think about it, it's like, this isn't even me that they're mad at. It, it's just that it's just some made up idea of me that they've concocted from some sort of really strange self-loathing place. And I'm like, whoa, uh, this, this is between you and you. This is not, doesn't have anything to do with me. But people do, they live out these imaginary like ideas about you and it's like, what the fuck? What is wrong with this guy? It's really weird. Yeah, but that's how the internet works sometimes, but. Once again, not really worried about it, but I'm just sort of explaining it to you, right? That's how it is, right? Yeah. Oh, wait. Oh. Mm. I'll pump this up a little bit. It's a boozy water bottle. Oh, I mean, if somebody asks me, like, hey, bro, I'm new to the channel. No, I don't mean to be rude, but are you natural? And I'm like, yeah. And they're like, oh, that's awesome. I'm trying to build muscle naturally, too. Big inspiration. That's fine. I don't take that as an insult. I'm talking about something different. When people come in here with, like, an attitude and they're, like, mad. And it's like, what the fuck? I got nothing to do with this. If you want to build muscle, you got to eat, man. Oh, I talk about it every day. People, you know, still don't get it, I guess. Uh, whew, man. The truth is, I'm not really that strong, but... I like working out, I like to eat, so those two things go pretty well together for making gains. How long it take you? It literally says on the... It has, like, the dates on the pictures. <laughs> Thank you. 
Yeah, eat some, eat some food that you like for sure. Yeah. I, I appreciate it, Messenger. I appreciate it. Yeah. I mean, like, I'm in the gym, you know, every day on stream. That's not the most popular streams that I have, but we're here kicking ass if you go like. Message, there's impossible. There's no way. It's taking you 10 years. <laughs> it's like, what? I'm working out. I've been working out for bodybuilding for about eight years now. I've been in the gym for probably 20 years now. And I, I mean, I only look like this, first of all. But, you know, it's weird. <clears throat> Yeah, I mean, in, in either case, Tomato, they're, they're just, you know, I just don't know. They're ignorant. Not in a mean way, they're just, they just don't know. I don't think I'm some kind of training guru who knows all the secrets of training. I must have just trained because I love it. But the one thing I am confident about is eat. <laughs> you gotta, if you want to build muscle, you got to eat a surplus. Want to lose fat, got to be in a deficit. Past that, you can kind of train whatever you want as long as you're getting better over time, right? Uh, oh. Oh. I mean, if I was trying to impress you guys with fake weights, I wouldn't be curling 30s. <laughs> but, it's kind of a pretty colossal waste of time to lift, lift fake weights on stream for two, two and a half hours a day. Like, I mean, like, make, pretending to lift heavy weight for like a 10 second Instagram clip. Okay, sure, that might get some views. It's kind of worth the memes. Working out for two hours with fake weights? What do you do with your life? I got shit to do. So then do I, do I then go and train another time with actual weights that are like a little bit less than what I would show as fake weights, right? So, <laughs> Nobody really accuses me of fake weights, but I also don't really lift that much, right? So. <laughs> it's not like, hey, look how much I can lift. Look at me do lateral raises with 20 pounds. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. Oh, man. Yeah, I definitely don't got the, the shoulders and traps for that. You got an NFL? No. I'm just gonna keep lifting weights. Oh, man. I mean, I could curl 40s, but it's just not, not the stretch and squeeze I'm looking for. Is that shoulders absolutely nuts? Yeah. Yep, we have some big old boulder shoulders. The juice helps with that, but I always got, you know, part of the deal. Ugh. You can definitely do push-ups to failure. That'll that'll get you pumping. I don't think I'm doing it today. I'm just trying to let my chest rest a little bit here. The tendons are kind of feeling it for some reason. I think it was the squats, really. It's pointless. I mean, once again, the lying about it is just weird. Doesn't make sense to me. Just warming up. Yep. Yeah. Just warming up. Always warming up. Warming up. It's all just a warm up. Go. Uh. Yep. All right. We'll be here for a little bit. We got work to do. Oh, we got work to do today. Just gotta keep hammering them arms and shoulders. Get the feel right. See if we get that old feeling right.
I think I can probably do more than 42 before I, before I get tired out. But like I said, I'm gonna let my chest rest a little bit here. <sighs> now the cables are fun, for sure. Oh, can I do more, a ton of reps than push heavy weight? Sure. Yeah, sure. Uh, oh. <sighs> I don't believe I have Ash now. Don't think so. has to do with what kind of training you want to do. Whether you're cutting or not is determined by your calories. You train for what you want to be, what you want to train for. You diet for what you want to do with your body. So, well, another way to say this, like train for your athletic goals and diet for your aesthetic goals. All right? Tired of repeating what? I mean, it's, hopefully it sinks in. It's, it's worth me taking the two seconds to say it. If it helps somebody make a difference, you know, in their life, right? Where would be ripping a place to look for a beginner workout? Uh, there's this dude who streams on Twitch. I think he does his workouts every morning. I think it's called like Bagheera or something. I think he's like a pro bodybuilder. Claims natural, but he's way too big for that. So, but anyway, you can check him out. I think he has a YouTube channel called like Bajira Gains. And then uh, he's posted a bunch of videos on his YouTube, his main YouTube channel about beginner workouts and stuff. But jokes aside, you're in the right place. <laughs> you can do the exercise that I do. That doesn't it doesn't need to be uh, doesn't need to be real heavy weight. Just get use what you got and just get to work. <laughs> But you're in the right place, my friend. Daily gym streams, VODs, exclamation mark games channel. And then I have my, uh, my main channel does have beginner workouts if you go search for them. There you go. I got you. I got you. You're in the right place. What's up, train? Oh, my God. 
Trap guard death doesn't probably not. It's got to sit in there is all. YouTube not show any of my videos to people anymore, so maybe that was more the gym video than anything. But yeah, I posted this part two on the main channel. Got like a thousand views in 24 hours, like 12 thumbs up, so I just deleted that shit. I was like, okay, fuck. <laughs> Fine, YouTube. Fine. I deleted the the gym video and that video. I was like, okay, I yeah, just Fine! <laughs> Never again. <laughs> Use his fake rates. I saw the one thing. I mean, I don't think he's trying to be like, look how strong I am. He's like, here's how you perform the movement. But yeah, definitely a little awkward that he used fake weights for that one deadlift video is what it was. You just want me to succeed? I don't know about that. I just think YouTube doesn't doesn't want me to post like variety and gym videos on the the main channel, where I guess the algorithm is so wrapped up in WoW, which is fine, whatever. But if you want to see Outrider stuff, then you can subscribe to my brand new bonus YouTube channel that I made so I could post other content that I want to, right? Just for fun. <laughs> Let's keep posting, you know, the wild videos and stuff on the main channel. Maybe some of the Avalon and whatnot. Have some fun, but maybe I just want to post that kind of stuff on there. YouTube's weird, man. YouTube is weird. You just live and die by the algorithm. It just is what it is. We'll see what we can do. I'm, not, I'm, I'm gonna keep working on it. <laughs> not giving up, but I did take those two videos down. I was like, okay, this is just gonna kill the thing. It's not good. So whatever. Whatever. Let's post more outriders on the on the bonus channel. See if we can grow that thing up just for fun. It'll take a while, but whatever. Just something fun to have. A place to post other stuff. I'm very glad that, you know, we're a channel if you want to watch for a while, for sure. Very grateful for that. But it used to be back in the day I could post whatever kind of content I wanted and my subscribers would see it. That's not how YouTube works anymore, so. It's kind of got to roll with it, I guess. That's what it is. Yeah, it's like it's like the bonus thing. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll change the command to like bonus YT or something. 
Because right now it's, it is kind of annoying that it's doing that. Let me, let me see if I can fix that. Just real fast. Because there's like another... There's another command for bonus at this point and it's kind of confusing the thing, I think. All right, bonus YT, there you go. There you go. That'll work. I'm not really a big enough YouTuber to have three or four channels that are all like bumping, but we'll see. That'd be alright now. I haven't put that many hours into it. You know, I really don't play that long, you know? I don't really have that much time to play games. Isn't that weird? As, as odd as that is, I really don't have that much time to play games. All things considered. I really like it though. But we'll keep playing it. I like it a lot. just like fucking with it. I don't know. <laughs> but I'm not giving up on it. We're going to keep pumping that thing. We'll, we'll, we'll do it. Like I said, we've been on YouTube for 10 years, so it's like we can do some new stuff. We can kind of get a little experimental. We're kind of in a good place right now. Or I can start getting a little experimental and start do some, do some odd shoots that won't be real productive at first, but might grow later, you know? Just be able to do what I want to do. Be fine. But yeah, by all means, go uh, subscribe to those channels and show those videos some love. I'd appreciate it. It makes such a big difference. But since you guys are the ones watching the gym streams, I know I already know you guys are the homies. So thanks. I mean, ideally you end up stronger at the end of the bulk and the cut than you were before, but generally you get stronger during the bulk and weaker during the cut. <laughs> yeah. What is Twitch Arrows powering me? It's a Twitch Arrows powering me. <laughs> that's what we're, that's why we've been kind of thinking about power over the past like week or so, <laughs> two weeks, trying to get ready for that. So even though I haven't really been training for power at all for a long time, I'm at least trying to reacquaint myself with barbell movements. 
so we can put up some kind of numbers. That's what I was talking about for the past, you know, couple weeks. Oh. And it's cool that it's cool that we're still around kicking butt doing our thing, I'd, I'd say ten years later, huh? Yeah, that's what we're up to. It's just uh, you know, kind of like a for fun meet, I think. With random people from the fitness Twitch realm. Lifting some weights and see what happens. You can I think there might be a page for you can search for. You can Google search that bad boy. Should be fun though, huh? But yeah, it's exactly what it sounds like. Am I gonna do that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, some of you guys who don't tune in, but once a month might miss out on this kind of stuff, huh? <laughs> like what the It's funny. It's funny, it's all good. I'm absolutely not gonna win, I'll tell you that right now. No way. I'm probably gonna be like like low middle of the pack in terms of my my lift. There's no way. There's no way. But it is a team event, so maybe my team could win. That'd be cool. Uh, 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 I'm just doing my thing, Dovion, but I do love it. I do love it. I'm glad we can keep doing it, huh? So far, so good. Hanging in there. Hanging in. Trying. Missed my screens? Well. Come tune in. We're here every day. At least in the gym, then every weekday for the games. Good to see you, man. I play both, as always, with both your arms. Um, definitely love to have a home gym. <laughs> but the the uh, going to the gym is kind of fun. Yes, I compete. I don't know who's competing. I just know who's realistic about my strength. If they have anybody. We actually in power lifts, I'm not gonna be competitive. Oh man, not a heavy though. Yeah, we'll keep on pumping. I feel like in a lot of ways this is just only the beginning for us, right? We're still kinda of early in that journey, but we're doing good so far. Built a nice little platform to, to work with so far. I'm glad to have you guys here, part of that team. Mm. I'm in this for the long haul, so. He is, he is. I'm not sure where all his lifts are, but like I said, if you're an actual power lifter, you're gonna be tearing up in this thing. Like I said, I'm probably gonna be about low middle of the pack in terms of my lifts, but the way the scoring works is, you know, it's like a, you know, it's like a, the, the highest lift gets eight points, the second highest lift gets seven, third highest gets six, so. Even if you're way stronger than everybody else, only you know one point separates you and the next guy. So it's uh, carbohydrates and BCAs. Just makes me feel good during training. Gives me some energy, some pump. <sighs> I guess I just didn't stick with it, huh, Dovion? I think that's all there really is to it. Didn't stick with it. <sighs> Uh, but yeah, I'm definitely not a power lifter. <laughs> but we'll go lift some weights and have fun. Various controversies and scandals can get people in trouble too, but... You know. Yup. But we'll, we'll do the meet, it'll be fun. It'll be neat. Like I guess I don't have real big high expectations or anything, but... If I can get close to, if I can get close to three, four, five, that'd be kind of cool. I don't think I'm gonna be 500, but you know, maybe something like that. Yep. Uh, uh. There we go. Oh. Yeah, I just do my thing. I don't really get into a whole lot of drama or anything. I just not real fancy or flashy. And just do things that I like to do and grind it out. Tips on improving bench, more bench pressing, more food. Learn good form, practice it. 
For me, if I'm gonna get better at something, I just do that thing more. It's a fairly straightforward approach, but that's just kind of how it is for me. Oh. Uh. More bench and more food. Like I said, learn, learn, you know, better form and technique. That helped too. Eat more food. Eat more food. It's just not good food. I mean, you got to get calories in one way or the other. <laughs> I think good nutritious food is good and better, but sometimes you got to do what you got to do. Oh. <sighs> got to do what you got to do, man. to show 
get lethal. That's the idea. I'm glad to have you back, Ryan. Thanks for the prime man. Big flex for 27 months, dude. Thank you. Clean fill, yep. Exactly. A bit lethal. Okay, my legs, they're not... Not amazing right now. They're kind of... Not real defined, but... They're not bad. Fine. Just gotta get in the light is all. They could, they could use more work, but not too bad. Move bar. Gotta get that good light. Can't get the light right. We'll work on it. We'll work on it. We'll work on it. Got a ways to go, but all good. Oh, I'll keep working. Cows be all right. I don't eat meat at all. I eat a uh, Q U R N corn. Is what it's called. I'm a long off season. Yeah, I mean we're just get, just getting started. I might do a little teeny tiny mini cut before I go to the beach, but other than that, be Vulcan. Gonna be bulking. We'll get these legs beefed up. I'm trying. Like I said, they're not bad, but they can be better. My calves. I wouldn't really call my calves really like much of a weak point for me. With all the running I've done over the years, I mean it's and just genetics, calves aren't bad. <sighs> You're not going to get docked for your abs being inserted non-symmetrically, uh, though. These terms of bodybuilding. Development is what the symmetry is about in bodybuilding, not necessarily your insertion points. Uh, but it's, it's how it is. bad either. I feel like right now my legs don't look that big just because they're not leaning and my upper body is actually kind of overpowering it. But um, when I'm lean my legs don't look too bad. Like because I lose so much mass in my upper body because I just lose fat, right? <laughs> well, that's just kind of how it works. Kind of fun. He's... Oh. All right, we got a little more time. Let's, let's keep pumping. Let's keep on pumping. Oh my goodness. But thanks for hanging out today, guys. We got a little bit more time, so try to finish strong. A little more arm and shoulders than yesterday. Then tomorrow, maybe we'll do some squats. See how we're feeling. You want to compete outside physique? I think I'll do like classic physique and maybe even open bodybuilding, maybe. How lean was I in that clip? I mean, that was, that was pretty lean. That was the day after my show, like my my second show, I think. So I was in pretty good shape there. I was probably, I mean, I had eaten a lot at that point too, but that's fine. As long as it's dry, that's okay though. Pretty lean, pretty lean. Oh. 
Chesties? Oh, legs and chest, gotcha. I think we will, Alpine, yeah. We will, I'm waiting on my royalties check from them. I think if I got a work comes out on PC, we'll have to do some, some cosplay streams for it. Be pretty fun. I think he's just trying to add more streaks to the copy pasta there. <clears throat> oh, I do use a bodybuilding signature series pre workout. Yep. That's the one. <clears throat> he's just trying to add channels to uh, this copy pasta. Unfortunate choice, though. 
<clears throat> but yeah, exclamation mark sups will link you all the supplements that I use. When and why. Got you. I don't like to take cold showers, no. If I want to get my heart rate up, I'll do some jumping jacks or something. <laughs> I don't I'd rather just be warm when I shower. I'm good. <clears throat> Sounds good, Mike. Sounds good, man. Thanks for picking up a shirt. Oh! My goodness. Woo! You're a huge advocate of cold water therapy? Sure. I mean, I think an ice bath is definitely different than a, 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 a cold shower. Ah. Sounds good around here. Good to see you, man. Sounds like a plan, dude. We're almost done for the day, but I'm glad we got to hang out a little bit on stream. We'll see if we can get a good productive week going next week. See about it. Oh, yeah, you silly. You silly boy. Top saying for the week. CMQQ kind of, kind of holding it down uh -huh. a little bit. 15 pounds, nice and light for the shoulders. I mean, they get heavy if you do enough, but 15 pounds isn't really a whole lot of weight. But if you do enough of them, you start to feel it. went in. I think my left shoulder definitely was sore for a couple days. I think it's still affecting like my shoulder area, but I mean, it's definitely good that we got it. Hopefully the second one doesn't kick my butt too much. <laughs> we'll see. I kind of think it might though. I'd be prepared for that. See about it. myself recently it's been nice and real nice well it's in kind of a chill enough time that you kind of you kind of can do other stuff it's nice get some outriders some diablo 2 do more of that combo probably wilson was fun too but more outriders for sure ah ah uh, and Diablo, of course, of course. Oh man, Whew. that Diablo video is doing okay on the YouTube, so hopefully it'll benefit from some searches and some algorithm action, It'd be great. That'd be nice. Oh man. Yeah, we're kind of getting there. It's good, right on time. Gotta, gotta hop out of here pretty soon. Get ready for my day with the boy. But a decent arms and shoulder workout. Decent, decent. We'll see about a squat tomorrow. I think I, I think I did squats more recently than deadlifts, but I might try another squat workout, I think. Or I can do deadlifts, we'll see. We could deadlift, bench, and then squat. That might, that might work actually, but just need to uh, use these next training sessions well because this will be, tomorrow will be one week away from the meet, so 
how we can get really one good workout, one later workout before the thingies. See how it goes. See how it goes. I'll be squatting high bar now. I think I used to squat high bar and then as I got stronger and I started to get, uh, I was kind of trying to chase PRs. I think I started to transition into a low bar, which worked for a while, but now that I'm getting back into barbell squatting for not doing it for a while, I think I need to go back to high bar. Because low bar is making, I'm, I'm getting out of position and it's making my back spasm. Whereas high bar feels better, so. Oh. And high bar is, uh, I think high bar is a little harder to knees, but high bar is like better for building strength and hypertrophy and stuff, so. But, uh, yeah, probably just gonna do high bar. Not go real heavy, but at least I can lift some weight without it getting weird. But let's wrap it up on a good note, team. Appreciate you hanging out. Thanks for showing love. Thanks for the subbies and the power ups for the day. We'll be back tomorrow for, uh, Normal day of games and gains, probably playing some uh, Diablo, maybe some Outriders after uh, the gym tomorrow. I'll think about it. We can do a squat or maybe we'll, maybe we'll just do deadlifts because I haven't deadlifted in a bit. That might be a good plan. Then squat like later on after uh, bench day, something like that could be good. That might be nice instead of squatting and then trying to do leg drive with sore legs. Let my knees recover a little bit too. But either way, you guys rock. Thanks for a fun day on stream. Hope you guys have a good rest of the day. And we'll see you guys tomorrow for more games and games. Peace.